Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about a copywriter by the name of, of uh, Bruce Barton. And uh, Bruce Barton was a very beloved person. And he was one of the uh, uh, named partners at an advertising agency called BBDO. And BBDO was a famous agency partly because of so many uh, legendary copywriters that um, uh, worked there or were partners there. I believe uh, even Gary Bensivenga, who's still alive, um, worked there. And John Caples also was maybe copy chief there for a while. Uh, John Caples is a person that you should know he has written several books. Um, they're all short and they're fantastic. One of them is called uh, Tested Advertising Methods. Wonderful little book. So uh, so this is an old ad, but look at the, uh, the layout is fantastic. So easy to read um, and Everything about this ad is very well done. So the headline goes, panics are only growing pains. And then the subheadline goes, some of America's biggest fortunes were founded in hard times. Will you reap the reward of your foresight when the depression is over? So this is an ad that ran during the depression. And the fact that a lot of people make a lot of money uh, during recessions and depressions is a well-known fact. So that in of itself is an element of proof in this headline. Um, and then goes the, the ad, the actual copy of the ad says, a few days ago when stocks seemed headed for zero and brokers were advising customers to sell, one person, one firm, sorry, issued this remarkable bulletin, quote, panics are but growing pains. There never was a great industrial depression that was not succeeded by a revival of epochal proportions, which registered the growth of the nation to even greater dimensions, end quote. So what they're starting with is a story, a small story that rehashes what is being said in the headline. Very good procedure. I think Ben Settle uh, also advocates that. Um, that's another person that you should know. Ben Settle, he has wonderful books on Amazon Kindle. And I tell you, those books are pre uh, are really well priced. A lot of them less than ten dollars. Very much, very much worth getting. Um, so uh, Ben Settle also talks about the story, about putting uh, a story right after the sub headline. So they're doing just that, and you can see that it's all written in a very easy to read font. And the layout, the layout is very symmetrical, very easy to follow. The eyes know where to go. It's not just, it's not a messy, uh, difficult to follow ad. People know where to go and how to read. Now, if you don't want to read the whole thing, then you have these little headlines in the middle, these sub headlines uh, before every paragraph. And you can then see if you want to keep reading right very good uh, let's look at the order form at the bottom right okay send me a send me oh very good send me without obligation the new booklet yeah so um the without obligation very important now later on order forms have become more um yeah, a little bit more involved. They talk about the offer, what you're what you're being offered, and the promises 
in the order form as well. Some people sell, uh, some people say that you should be able to sell the product just inside the order form. So uh, the order form here is nice, but it's maybe not quite as sophisticated as what we have seen later on with people like Joe Sugarman, for example, uh, who is more recent. Okay, guys, I I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Bruce Barton uh, is a name that you should look up um, and you should learn everything about that agency, BBDO. Uh, Bruce Barton, I think, died uh, in the 60s. Uh, so this is old copy that would still work today. Yeah, very good.